good morning everybody and good morning ladies and boys and dad you're missing one oh. <laughs> ah yes that'll do it oh jeepers yeah yeah that's a different type of milk <laughs> Just help Dad cut the first row. We're going to slurp it here. Can't stop slurping. What happens when some of the teats come together, and because the cups come up like that, they sort of can't come together at the top. So, see that milk out a little bit. Get to it. Hey, hey, what? What's this cow? Hey, a funny looking cow. Not very good, are they? <laughs> yeah. Got a cow here. He's got a guts ache. What they do is they try and sit down in the bale and uh, she'll keep kicking her cups off and poops everywhere. So, this thing you can do is just keep dry cupping her up and there we go. Once Can't you're done, can't get them full. I better wash these girls up. Come on, pop it out, come on. Starting the wind now. Good, that's a good girl. Your first throw heading out. Little bull's not minding being in there, he's getting meal. Is his head eating meal? He can't see his head up and his head's not down, it must be in the bin. Good girl. And here comes our girl with the gut sake, pushing out hard. Good girl, say no. Go one seven eight first. Very nice little cow that one. Been around for a while, haven't you, one seven eight? Good girl. Right. Yeah, did the double up. Keep it. Oh, someone tried to kick you dead. <laughs> we flooded her again, so we must be down ahead. So, they're milking well this morning, though. But we are down ahead. That does not help. Four head of milk with pump. Only got three heads. So. Yeah, and they're milking well enough. And another successful milk. Dad's off. He's going to go and finish washing up. We can, uh, cow here, last cow leaving. We're going to follow her down the willow lane. And then close it off. We got our little limpy cow out there. The other two are right, not going too far today. So, right, let's go finish off the spraying. One paddock to go. And then, um, got a few other jobs to do today. Yeah, well, that's the best time to spray. There's no wind at all. It's just gone 7.30, uh, sorry, 20 to 8. So we'll get the spraying done. We've got a few things to do today. We're gonna to set up the paddock here. Put a fence across this paddock, put some good grass in it. Um, yeah, a few other things to do though, we're going to wash up some cafeterias. So, just a mainly getting it all done today. So, the mix in the back here is three litres per hectare of, um, of roustabout. And I'll tell you, three litres per hectare of roustabout, this should do three hectares, 450 litres. About 175 litres of paddock. And um, also another 600 mils of cipher, a 200 mils per hectare, so it makes 600 mils total. So, uh, main objective for us about is to kill dry grasses, grasses, broad leaf weeds, and uh, maize. It doesn't kill the maize, and uh, kills legumes as well as plant. It gives it a nice, good, ready to go. I'm just looking at the paddock, see if I see any maize coming up, but can't see any at the moment. So, it is day four today. So day four is uh, planted on Friday, so Saturday to Sunday to Monday, Tuesday is day four. So, can't see any real maize coming up yet. But it'll be cool once it starts coming up. We've come across one day and had no maize coming up, and then by that, uh, by that night we had about, we could see the lines of maize. So. Alright, last panic now, we're just in her. The idea is no matter how much is left of this spray tank, because we're in our last panic, we're going to use the whole lot. So, it's the plan that is the objective. So, we're gonna, it's just been agitating our whole way down here. Put the arms down. So agitating just means it's been mixing up the spray in there that's been in there overnight, just allowing it to mix up properly. Takes it through the bottom pump and then squirts it out up that top pipe on top here. And it then goes back into it, so it mixes it up. Awesome, right. 
let's get to it and get this last paddock sprayed. So, then that's it. Then we'll be see you later, these paddocks, until uh, we come to chop them. Although we will get the post-emergent fuller in. But they're about between gumboot height and post height. That's where we'll get the, the post-emergent fuller to come and spray them. They put some real good stuff in there. All right, with that, we're ready. Let's go and uh, spray some. Done and dusted, beauty. So we're not going to be too worried about actually um, emptying her out because we generally fill her up with glyphosate, go and spray um, uh, the drains here and um, around the tanker track and all that sort of thing. So we're not too worried about that because it'll be so diluted that stuff, there's basically nothing left in it. It's only you know, it's starting to fit her out, so there's nothing in it. Wouldn't even worry about um, washing it out. I mean, if we were doing partial spraying, uh, yes, definitely would be looking at washing her out. Don't want to kill the grass, but um, otherwise wouldn't worry too much. So that's it. All three paddocks are done and ready. I actually wouldn't mind coming down and having a look tonight after milking and seeing if we see any mace ones. I thought I could see a couple of runs as I was actually going up and going side to side on this paddock here. I thought I could see some runs coming up this way, so um, it'll be interesting. I think she might be up by this afternoon. So that would be four days, but hey, won't get our hopes up just yet. Just got back to the cow shed and we we're talking to Dad then. He just said, um, very strange, the pump's still going. So we've got a water leak somewhere. We're going to go turn off some taps. We've got taps that sort of section off the farm. And we'll try and section off the farm from here. The cows are getting fed our water from a different line. So we'll try and section off areas to see where it is. And um, we'll let Dad know. So down this race here, we've got a tap here. Now section off that part of the farm. We turned off this tap and our little pump stopped. So it's down this way somewhere. We've actually got a piece that sections onto the back of the farm and goes across to um, the other side. So we'll section that off again. We'll turn off the one that goes towards further down this race. So I'll turn that one off and we'll see if we'll check with that, see if the pump stops. We'll look for a water leak. We've also got a tap here and this is where it connects on and goes under the race and over that way. It also tears off up that way. Got underground cave, underground ones go underneath the race through a culvert and then come on this side. One of those may have come loose, but I'm not too sure. Go in here and turn this tap off and I'll section off. So we'll figure out if it's from here to there. If the pump stops, well then it must be further on. It could be that way or further we'll down. here looking. Right, that water line's fine, so it's gotta be either further to the right or down across that way. Just see Dad in the other race. He's looking as well. So we're looking for water leaks. So, we found it. Look what happens when I turn, turn the tap on. See? Going backwards. That's it off. So we've got a leak. So down here we've got a meter halfway down the farm. Because this is actually a different title from this block backwards from where the maze plant is. So we've worked out the leaks on this line going back towards the cow shed. So, so I've down. checked all the water lines. Can't see any leaks. Can't see any down on the main line heading back to the cow shed. My dad was saying it could be the pressure at the county mains because we we try and keep the farm at about 50 psi, whereas the county mains sometimes can drop down to about 35 when the pressure starts to come on in the summer. So um, it's a downside of being on county supply, but um, it's all part of it. And um, we're going to have back to the cash and see what county supply is doing. Have a look. This is on our pressure tank. Dad's just waiting for it to start. When the meter starts, that's what we'll know what the pressure is at the moment. County usually tries to sit at about 30 to 35. 
which is right down today. Scum below 50. Active reasoning is seven PSI coming from the county supply aid. Yeah. So that just means county's down at the moment, or very low. Yeah. So that happens. But uh, it's all part of it. That's why we have that little pump in place to get pull the pull the water from the yeah. county yeah. supply and get it up to well, pressure to go down the farm. Full of water, so we're just keeping yeah. it up now. Yeah, that's right. We'll keep so the That one's going. turned off. Yep, the meter's turned off down the farm, so it can't, the meter was backfilling, so we need to put a, a non-return valve there. There is a non-return valve, but it's obviously crapped itself. So we got a new non-return valve, Eagle Arrow. Dad's just going to turn off that a little, um, in the drain down there, there's a tap. Once that's off, we should technically have no water at all on this whole back of this block here, because I got this tap still turned off, and we got... That tap turned off and the tap on the other race is also turned off so no water will be down this way so once i undo it i shouldn't have any water squirt me but as you'll see in there there's the old non-return valves just on the other side of that little meter there we're going to replace that and um, put in a new one here we are just putting on a new um let's see look that doesn't look right does it can't really see it, but um, there's no actual fitting or anything to stop the water going backwards and forwards. And this one here, it's a new one. Works, it's gonna go real great. Let's put some more thread tape on that, put them on there, connect them up to this pipe, connect them back up to the main line. And then um, turn her on, go turn our taps on. Awesome, she's on. Sweet, water in that way. Let's turn her on. She will go for a little bit to refill that line. I've just been standing here the last five minutes and yeah, uh, she's not moving. No water going anywhere. So that means we've got no water leaks on this entire block back here. Awesome. So we, what we're going to go do is turn on that tap that's down here and the tap over by the other one. So on these two races, one on There's a meter just here. There's a meter at the cow shed that we have a pump connected up to. There's actually a meter, maybe you see it over there, but where the hay barn is, just down opposite the hay barn up to the road up there, so um, that's where the meters are. Three meters because they'll help each other, and um, once closer to the county line, we'll be getting better water supply than once furthest away, and so when they're all, all the meters are pretty far away from the back corner of the farm, those three meters are generally all pumping water in, all getting down to that water line to help. That's why it's good to have those three meters connected up. Just gone 10 o'clock. Look at the girls all sit down. I think it's nice. Hereford. This is Jamie's little girl, one of the first Herefords born. Beautiful girl, hey. <laughs> Alright. Let's put the last bag in. This calves are starting to stir around. Yep, we're gonna have to fix this up once uh carving's finished. Oh once we're done feeding these calves, it's a matter of drilling new holes and putting new rivets. So we got our last two ton once that's all out. These calves are weaned off and taken up to granddad's. No more pellets for them. Hey, here you hold. You have a little coffee. <laughs> first, first trough. Second trough. Third trough. Hello, 56. Look at you. Hey, you beautiful little girl. Come on. You go over the other trough. That's off, over there. Right, we're gonna head off. Mm. 
So we've done all the easy jobs now. Now it's just time we're going to go and get the 40 feeder, the, t uh, the 10 feeder and a 5 feeder. Go wash those up and then go put them in that shed in the, um, around the house there. Shed where those calves were. And then that'll put them away nicely. And then, um, yeah, it'll be pretty much us for today. Pretty happy with that. That's nice and clean now. Right, we're going to get on to uh, the teats. There are these teats here and where these were. So we'll get on to that, wash it out with a high pressure hose and um, see how it looks. May have to get in there with some hot water. But um, yeah, should be good. Gotten to it very well. Pretty happy, pretty happy. She is all cleaned and washed up after carving. Perfect. Right. That. Let's get to finishing washing up these teats here and get to the other cafeterias. We are. Got the fun jobs. Just going through washing these. Make this clean. And in there. And then once that's all done, once that's full, put the high pressure hose in it and give it a heck of a good rinse around. And then we'll put some nice hot water in it and it'll sit with some hot water with a bit of acid in it all until um, carving next year. That way it'll just be nice and clean. And then once we get it out, we'll just give it a rinse, squirt them out and put them on the cafeterias. So we've got uh, these ones. They've got to go get their 10 feeder and the 5 feeder and take those teats off. Dad said just chuck those away. They've been used that much. They've been through the whole season, so um, that'll be gone. Just checking this, make sure these work. If they don't, well then they get chucked. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna wash these up and then we can put them all away. That's nice and dried out now. So there we go. Got the two ray hay racks put away. It's 10 feeders, the five feeders over there as well. And our 40 feeder. Sweet. We've got everything out of the way, ready for mowing silage in these two paddocks around the house. With that, I think we'll call it lunchtime. Good afternoon, everybody. And good afternoon, ladies. Hey, Dallas. I don't think we've got enough girls to start. Shall we get so to not too bad. The tank coming about five to three, so it's been gone. I've really washed the vat and then these boys keep them out of the rows. Now that one knows a taste of meal, you may want to keep getting back in there. <laughs> but anyway, hey, 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 hey. Back you go. Back you go. God. Back you go. Come on. So we sent 56.27 today. So not too bad, the girls are holding really well. We are very happy with that. The boys are um, agitated. There must be a few little girls bullying here and there. Easy. Going right out here tonight. This paddock. Yep. Nice and close. Right, Dad. Right. Right, let's go. Ah, we've got Mike the rope out. Good to see him doing some work for once. Okay. Yeah, just finished washing up. He's waiting for me to finish my job. I just got to put the rinse cycle through and we're done. And yeah. Uh, oh, hey, how are you doing? Good, good, good. That's all right. Like and subscribe. Okay. And I won't see you anymore. <laughs> no, no. But I will. The bulls are all at the gate here. One bulling cow there wanting uh, one of the bulls. We're going to be working hard. We'll go down and have a look at this maze, see how the maze is going, and go lock these cows away and set up the gates for the morning. Not too far to go tomorrow morning and tonight. Just there. 
cows go out that gate and into there. Happy eating. Starting to get a little bit of a shower. It's meant to be a shower this afternoon until about six o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Spates. 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 Slow carb. And